Hey guys, JG here and welcome to the Champions League first knockout round against Valencia. Yeah, let's quickly go over what happened last time. Uh, let me see here. You saw we beat Man United, then we lost to Norwich, quite disappointingly. Uh, then we beat West Brom and Middlesbrough. So, I mean, still going pretty good. We are still in third position with... Uh, um, I can't count, uh, an 11 point gap down to the non-European spots. Still quite a few games remaining, but as mentioned in the previous episode, I do feel confident in securing some sort of European football for next season. But uh, yeah, so nothing much has happened since then, so uh, let's just uh, get to the game, uh, the first knockout round against Valencia. Let's take a look see here. I want to highlight a new name in the squad actually. Jed Mead, coming directly from my uh, from my reserve, or my UC, okay, not directly, he was at Reading, then we bought him last season, and he's been slowly playing in the reserves, and I was just looking through my reserve teams the other day, and this guy, he's 18, and these are his stats, and my, my coaching team still says he has a lot of potential. I mean, I, I'm a big fan of this guy. I, I, I'm if he develops as much as I hope he can, I'm hoping him and Lewis Bolton can become my almost my my set of central midfielders for many years to come. I mean, already Bolton it has established himself in the first team, and Jed Mead, Jed Med, no, isn't that Jed Mead? It has to be. Uh, he could maybe not replace Hoybia. I mean, Hoybia is 23 and very very good. But maybe I'd be able to move him on for a profit. I mean, how much is he worth? He's worth 38 million. We bought him in for 30. If I could move on Hybia for 50 million, I would be happy to let Jed Mead take his place in the team. So maybe that's a thing that will happen in the summer. I don't know. Anyways, um, let's set up the team for this game. Murray and Gold, Trippier, Jorge, Juan Rodriguez, Rico Henry... Um, Alright, so both Pulisic is suspended and Gray is injured, so I am going to play Kramerich on the... Actually, maybe I will do that, as my assistant suggests. I mean, he, it's the same st important stats as for the right-wing role, so I suppose he should be able to do there. Yeah, I actually I think I will do that, in fact. Otherwise, Bolton and Hoybia switched around as usual. I do not know why my assistant insists on flipping them around when they're specifically being trained. Hoybia as a central midfielder and Bolton as a ball-winning midfielder. I don't know, but that's just how it is, I suppose. But, um, yeah. I think this is the team we will go with. Uh, we have an empty spot on the bench. Why is Jamie Shepard not registered? Did I do a brain fart when I did the cheap squad registration? I might have. Yeah. Anyways, um... I don't think there's much more to change, so uh, let's uh, get on with it. We are playing at the Mestalla in uh, Valencia. And hopefully, I mean, if we can get a draw here, I fancy my chances at home. But, um, obviously that's no, no guarantee by any means. They favor Valencia. Brief, like, almost. Well, they do favor, what, I, I can't words, um, yeah. What? Oh my god, is that THE Isco? Oh my god, it is. What happened to his hair? Oh my god, does he look like that in real life? I mean, this is an updated face pack. Does he look like this in real life? Oh my word. Wow. Okay, yeah, well, anyways, Isco's playing for Valencia now. And key man for us, Pierre Milhoibia. So, um, yeah, nothing particularly exciting. Let's see a bit. Oh, they have Gab Ooh, Gabriel Babo. Ooh. I am no longer quite as optimistic while I look at their team. Barbosa up top, Isco in behind, Leroy Sane, Andre Gomez, Danilo, Karim Belarabi, Shinikov, Mustafi, Kostas Manolas, Hidatea Avest. He's pretty good if I recall correctly. And who was in goal? I noticed, but I didn't remember. Kevin Trapp. And on the bench they have Antonio Sivera, Danny Parejo, Johannes Egenstein, Quincy Promis, Kachalanoglu. Ah, okay. I am by no means as optimistic as I was before, that's for damn bloody sure. Um, 
I'm actually slightly terrified now. This could end very, very badly for us. So, um, this will be an interesting game. Let's, uh, let's see how, where, how it goes. I'm no longer very optimistic, though, I must admit. Anyways, we start off with the trap. And... Nothing was happening in the first few minutes, except booking for Lewis Bolton already. That's just a fantastic start, isn't it? Or not? But yeah, okay, so... Highlight for Valencia. Oh, cock. That, um, that was not what I wanted to happen. As I was just saying, this could, I mean, this could get ugly. I, f I they had a significantly better team than I thought. Maybe after this game, I'll, uh, I'll just check out how they've actually been doing in the league. Oh god. This is, um, this is less than optimal. Alright then. This is not good. I'll have to make do, I suppose. Okay, so... Is, yeah. I mean, since that goal, not much has happened, so I guess that's something. Hmm. Okay, now they have another free... It's another highlight for Valencia. I, I don't like this. I really don't. Leroy Sane. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, come on, Murray. Really? Really? Oh god. <laughs> well then. Okay, let's do it. I mean, I think Murray, he fumbles that pretty heavily. I mean, let's just stick. Ow, ow, oh, come on. Come on. Maybe I should have gone with the experience and Schmeichel instead. Oh god, not another one. Not another one. Please, please no. Please, oh, for, for, oh god. If I had a face cam, you'd see me more or less hiding my face in my shirt right now. This is embarrassing. This is so, so embarrassing. Might have won the Premier League, but, um... How? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Valencia have actually won the La Liga. It's a terrifying squad they have. Oh, God. This is, um... This is not good. This is really, really not good. I don't even know what I'd change. I mean, Hoybe getting booked, Hoybe is getting booked. Oh, Both my central midfielders now have bookings as well. This is pathetic, and now Trippier as well. This is just downright pathetic. Yeah, I'm subbing off Trippier. He's been, oh god, 5.8 rating and the booking. This is, that's, that's absolutely terrible. I hope Munod is on the bench. Daniel Munoz is on the bench, you're coming on. Trippier, you're off. Um, the worst part is, Hoybia has been our best player this game, and he's... Oh, God. Do I want to do anything else? I think I'm just going to... I'm going to... Bentecourt can clearly not play there very well, so I'm bringing on Cramridge. He can actually play there, at least. Alright, let's see if the second half will go a little better. I'm not optimistic, but one a man can hope. Henry on the wing, come on, whip it in, do something. Oh god, what 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 was that? I mean, ugh. <sighs> this is uh, this is awful to say the least. That's like an understatement. This is pretty bloody awful. Hmm. I'm not a fan of this. I'm really not. Well, they haven't scored more, I say they haven't scored more as they get a throw in right near my box. Andre Gomez has it to Danilo. And uh, Robbie. Oh god, no, 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 no. Ooh, save, save by Murray at least. Henry punts it away. But, um, yeah, this is, um, not very good, is it? I'm going to bring on some fresh legs in the attack. Ihanajo off, stab on. Give it a punt. I don't want to go more offensive because we are at home next game and I mean we got see that's an away goal this is good this is a good I mean last season 
I think it was last season. We did lose to Real Madrid 5-1 and at, at the Santiago Bernabeu and then beat them 4-2 at home. And if we can do that to Real Madrid, we can do that to Valencia as well. And a 4-2 at home, as the stands are now, that would still see us going out on away goals, but I'm, I'm, I refuse to call us down and out yet. Although, if they score now, I might. Yeah. Oh, well, Murray gets it away, but I probably would have missed anyways. Um, so yeah, and Mbolo has, what, 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 what was that, what, I, I, I what, oh come on, Cramerich, and Bellarabi's just running, oh god, Bolt, oh Bolton's good, he actually made a tackle, he didn't get sent off, yay, okay, so, at least they got Gabriel Barbosa off the pitch now, replaced by Johannes Eggestein, so only slightly less terrifying. Well then, Valencia are still on the attack. Oh god, no, 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 ugh. Seriously? If what I think happened actually happened, I am going to be upset. I think we kicked it into one of our own players. Let's just take a look at this. See, Rodriguez and Kramerich, he kicks it into whoever that is. And Egenstein gets it before Murray can get there. Ugh, that's not good, is it? That's really not. Well, you have an attack. Can we make it 4 2? Embolo, Munoz, Bolton, Espinosa. Shoot. Embolo? Yes, 4 2. Okay. I don't want to say we're still alive, but we're still alive. We, we, this isn't over yet. This is not over yet. I mean, that, that, that goal could, pure, could prove to be hugely important. Well played by Embolo. Hey. I mean, they, they, we're not out yet. 4 2 at, at the Mustala. Yeah. We, can we make it 4 3? That would, um. Or is this just a full time highlight? It might be. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's full time. 4 2 to Valencia. It's not exactly optimal, is it? It's not at all optimal. Imbolo scores twice in the last 12 minutes. Anyways, um. I will join you back for the second leg in, I believe, a month's time. Just under a month. Two games in between, an FA Cup tie, Liverpool and Chelsea. None of those games are hugely important. Well, actually, Liverpool kind of is, and so is Chelsea, to be fair. But that, I'm going to regard them as not important. I will return to you for the second leg of the Valencia game. I will see you guys then. Bye. And we are back for the second leg. So, a few things first. Let's look at the fixture, or the games. We beat Grimsby 3-0 with our reserve team, drew 2-2 to Liverpool, and then we destroyed Chelsea 4-0. We then drew Liverpool in the FA Cup, which will happen after the Valencia game, and we also had some youth intake. Our own youth intake was shit. Best player, Alan Chambers, I mean. He can probably be alright, but nothing more than that, really. I did, however, sign some players from elsewhere. Uh, as you see, I offered the contracts to quite a few, but only two of them chose to join me. Paul Baker, a Welsh goalkeeper from Cardiff. Um, again, both these players are mostly designed or designated as squad players, so to speak. So, if he develops, then cool, but I'm not setting my sights up for anything major. Anyways, he's, oh, he's actually good, very good passing for a region keeper. That, that isn't very common. Uh, so Paul Baker and Charlie Birch. Also, these are in order to get some English slash British players into the squad. So, I mean, again, he can maybe be alright, but I don't expect fireworks from him. Anyways, that's basically all that's happened since uh, I left you. So now we play Valencia at home. Or well, for us it's at home, for them it's away. But yeah, you know what I mean. Also, we had a few injuries and suspensions. Pulisic is injured, and Lewis Bolton got injured, and Trippier is suspended. So we're a bit uh, running a bit thin, to be blunt. Anyways, uh, yes, Murray, and then we have Munoz and Jorge, Mu and Amati, sorry, and Rico Henry. <sighs> dilemma, dilemma. What do I do? 
I actually could do this. Giving Jed Mead his uh, Champions League debut already. Is it a brave decision? Yes. Is it a stupid decision? Quite possibly. But fuck it, I'm doing it. And Cramrich on the left because I don't really have any other options right now. Bray is in injured for a while. So yeah, there's not really much I can do except for this. So, um, let us go for it, I think. And as, as you remember, we lost the first game 4-2. But I, I, I wouldn't say that we are not going to win. I mean, I have come back from larger and they are playing more or less the same lineup. Barbosa, Isco, Sane, Gomez, Danilo, Bellarabi, Shinikov, Manolas, Mustafi, Teavest, and Trap. That's actually that exact same lineup. I think Mustafi and Manolas have switched around, but otherwise that's the exact same lineup. Uh, we've switched around. God, they have Bonaventura in the next squad as well. Jesus Christ, that's a terrifying long squad. We actually forgot to check um how they were doing. Yeah, so they finished second in La Liga. They're currently in fourth, so not amazing. Let's just check. Yeah, they're they're not far behind, but um, yeah, they finished second last season. That's understandable, actually. Anyways, let's get on to the game. Mm, yes, fine. Well, let's go. Let's see if we can make up the two goal deficit. If we win two nil, we're through due to away goals. Or if we win three one, come on. An early goal. Yes! Oh my god, 11 seconds. Here we go, the comeback is on. Ihanacho scores within like 11 or 12 seconds from kickoff. That was uh, very, very good. Mead and Kramerich, the instigators. Ihanacho takes the ball and slots it right past Kevin Trapp, who honestly probably should have done better. 1 0 after 12 seconds. The comeback is on. Let's go! Yeah. Okay, so after nothing happened after that. As Mead's already getting booked. Five minutes into his Champions League debut and he's got a yellow card. Great. I gave you a chance and you're gonna fuck it up. Or you know, maybe that was just all he's gonna get, hopefully. I don't want if he gets sent off, I'm gonna be a little upset. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Yes, alright, that's fine then. That's, that's fine. I can live with this. Anyways, um, yeah, we have the most possession so far, but they have had two shots, whereas we have only had the one. However, we have scored on our one, so that's alright. Jed Mead has the ball. Do something with it. Out to Henry. Do something with it. Yes! Yes! 2-0! We, we, we're, going, we're going through at this rate. Wow. Um, I mean, I, I, knew, I know I said that I wouldn't count us out yet, but I didn't expect things to go this fast and this uh, impressively. Wow. Um, yeah. Henry knocks it in, and Ihanacho again gets a foot to it. Trapped without a chance this time, but Manla should probably have done better this time. Okay, can we make it free? Can we seriously make it free? Jed Mead has the ball. Imbolo. Ihanacho. No. Okay, Trap saves it. That would have been almost too good to be true. To be fair, we do have a corner. We can still make it. Ben Sakua has it in, and Belarabi gets it away, but it's still a throw in for us. And nothing comes of it, because the highlight is over. All right then, Henry and Betancourt and M no Embolo. Oh, and it's a corner. No, it's a goal kick. All right then. Apparently hit the post. Anyway, so two 0 up, twenty minutes gone. This is a uh, this is going pretty decently. Let's see, Mustafi and to Bilarabi, to Danilo, to Isco and to Gabriel. Oh God, this is not. Oh God, he have to. Oh God, he missed. Although he did murder my entire defense with that run, but we're alive. We're still alive. Trap punts it upfield, and Kramerich gets it away up to Mead, who does not do anything worthwhile with the ball. Mead still has it. Mead to Mbolo. Ooh, Ihanacho. Ooh, that was off the post and onto the keeper. That could have gone badly. I believe that was something like what happened last time to us, except that was. Uh, What's his face? I certainly forgot what a keeper's name is. Murray, that's the one. Why? Why can I not remember that? Who? Well, anyway, but he fought. He dropped the ball last time. Literally, he dropped the ball. So, um, yeah, we're doing quite well this game. I am definitely satisfied with that performance. If we keep this up, we should definitely go through to the quarters. 
Anyways, okay, Sani and ooh, Murray should probably have come out. No, no, you, you're getting sent off now. You're getting sent off. No, he didn't. He didn't get a booking, and it's only a free kick. Or it's, oh, it's a penalty. Shit. Oh god, Jedmead, I'm giving you your debut, and you're costing us. You're costing us. It's under go. Come on, Murray. I believe in you. Ooh, he went the right way, but unfortunately, it was not enough. That was uh, that was slightly disappointing. Doing so well. However, if we score, we will still win. Okay, so yeah. I mean, Murray goes to right, and he's very, very close to getting his fingertips to that. Unfortunately, he didn't, and Andre Gomez scores. At this rate, Valencia are going through, but there is still over a half of football left to play. Anyways. Jedmead, you've been doing very well, but on the other hand, you've been doing crap. You've gotten yourself booked, and you've given away a penalty. Should I? He's playing in the ball-winning midfield. Yes, I am. Andy King, you're on. Need your experience, mate. Uh, and Bolo hasn't been doing very well, but he has set up some goals. Oh yeah, he's been second to last pass on some goals then. Let's go with that. Andy King's coming on for Jed Mead, because he's done some... Despite the fact that I want to promote youth, um, he's made stupid mistakes which cannot be accepted at Champions League level. So it's simple as that, really. Okay, now Ben Sakur is booked. That's not very good, is it? Ah, uh, fine. Not much is really happening. Ihanacho is getting himself caught offside. I am going to do a thing now. Is it a good thing? I don't know. Because Mbolo hasn't been playing well. And now I'm bringing Espinosa on. On the left. Which he technically can't play, but as said before, the stats are essentially the same whether he's playing left or right, so he should be able to play. Okay, so that... Um, yes, King. Good. Good tackle by Andy King. Well done. Ooh, Embolo. Am I going to regret taking you off now? Are you going to score? No, you're not going to score, but are you going to assist maybe? Chenik. Oh, yes. Nacho scores a hat trick. Well done, son. Well done. I mean, th this boy, a signing of the season, or seasons, because it's been a while since I bought him now. Uh, this is, I believe this is the third season here. The se first season wasn't much, but second season and this season, despite being injured for a lot of the first half, um, he's been doing very, well, very, very well. Anyways, okay, let's see. Come on, can we hold this? Do I want to go on, on defensive? I... My, I'm going on counter. I'm going on counter. I want to try keep this. Oh god, if they score now, I'm going to look like a right mug, aren't I? Okay, they didn't, so that's something. Andre Gomez, Danilo, and out to Bellarabi. Oh god, no. Please no. Please no. Please god, no. Yes, no. Yes! Oh, what? What a... F oh my god, Murray, you are my hero. D fantastic double save by Murray. Well, wow. That was really, really good. Okay, so uh, Munoz, come on, you're fast, you can take it. Okay, you're actually not very fast, that's why I'm training you and being fast. And we're launching the counter, Munoz, out to Kramerich, Kramerich has it, and to King, and Andy King is offside. What would have been, I mean, he's rounding the 30, his time with the club is coming to an end, Andy King, but, um, I mean, he's still a good versatility player in that in those midfield spots, so. I, I would like to keep him around and coach eventually, but... Well, that might not be a... Uh... <sighs> Again, sometimes I wish I had a face cam. I might actually look into that later because you'd have so much fun watching my reactions right now. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this. You remember what we did last time? We needed a goal. We did this. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do this, this, yes, that looks good. Cramridge is off for Juan Rodriguez. Switch around there, so I have the tall guy in the middle. 
Um, is that what I want to do? It is. It's actually a more defensive formation, but it seems to work. I mean, it's, it got us a goal against Manchester United. And I would be very happy if it could do the same here. Yes, come on. Oh, Manolas intercepts. Crap. Okay, I'm going overload. No fucks given. We have nothing to lose. I mean, if we don't score, we're out. If we do score, we're in sector time. I have nothing to lose here. Um, yeah. So, oh god, now they're on the attack. I don't like this. Oh. No, and okay, it's over. It's it's done. It's over. <sighs> that was um disappointing. I honestly thought we could go through with this. Actually, this is uh, this is, I'm actually quite disappointed now. After this start, after the start of this game, I honestly thought we could go through. Oh, I'm a bit upset now. I mean, even if we score two goals, and we're going out on away goals. So there is literally there is. Uh, well, we do get a penalty. But yeah, we technically need three gold in order to progress in five minutes. That ain't happening. And we even missed a penalty. This is just, uh... That's just fucking great, isn't it? Oh well. Game over. It was a good game. Yeah, there was a series of good games, to be fair, but... Uh, in the end, it was all for nothing. Disappointing, but I mean that's football for you. Although to be fair, with the team Valencia have got, I'm not massively surprised by the fact that we've lost. Game over, free free at the King Power Stadium. Yeah, I I I am a bit down about that. I honestly thought we could win this. I mean, hat-trick from Ihanacho, I mean, well done to him, but, uh, unfortunately, Valencia decided it was not to be. Yes. Anyways, um, that was a bit of a downer end to the episode. I think, um, I will see you guys next time. Bye!